GG Harem. We checked out the synopsis on any chart. It looked pretty mid by all means, right? The synopsis basically said it's a guy that read a manga and realized there's harems and mangas. And I want to join a club and live my manga harem dream. But he realized that the girl in the club, it's not like that. So he kind of ignores the one girl that has affection for him is what the synopsis said. But apparently it was an absolute garbage way of describing what the show actually is. Is it actually that hype? Let's begin today's reaction. Welcome new students. High school. What club are we going to join? We're going to join the Harem Club. Why is she blushing? Oh, Miyuki! Mm, a single hmm? cherry blossom falls down. You're the Prez? You're the Prez? Cool guy. <laughs> President, because default, he's the only member. Why? Because he's cool and a president? I thought we are the only club member. Bro just lied. <laughs> Lying Riz. Bro just said, I'm gonna mix shit up. Uh huh. You going to drama club? I'm the president, by the way. You thought it would work? I mean, it might work. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, it's a theater kids. It is a drama club. Okay, what was I expecting? They're okay, they're here to like play and act. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's Oshinoko guy. <laughs> it's diet Oshinoko right now. Oh wait, she's cracked. Oh wait. Romeo. Oh. The aura! Where is this lighting showing up from? Hold up! Wait, wait, wait! There was no lighting! Suddenly, there's like lights coming from above! Romeo. Oh. Oh, Romeo. Holy shit. This immersion! Death! <laughs> Main character picked up a really good talent. He fell for the acting? It was that good? Huh. I thought that he would like reject her. Beginning of a story. Okay. <laughs> That's not really... You know, from anime. Harem. Oh my goodness. Is she actually into him? Why did she fall for him immediately? Because he was kind of cool and weird in the beginning and introduced her to the drama club? Like... He, uh, it's not just teasing. Is she teasing here out of romance already? Immediately, she got the twin tails on immediately. The tsundere, holy Giji Harem. That's right, title drop. <laughs> so is he gonna play dense the entire time and be like, nah, she's just doing this to kind of like tease me and have fun and she's gonna be trying to win his affection the entire time. Is that the fucking gag? Like entire dense main character, she keeps trying to raise him up different personas and he's like, oh, that's pretty good, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Maybe she's not really in love with me, right? <laughs> she's not. Cap, He's like complimenting her saying cute. It's like basically flirting, but he doesn't even realize. ほほほほ。気持ちも考え。俺のと何が違うんだ?目か? It was the monotone voice from the eyes. <laughs> she got a Yandere side? Yeah, he's in the drama club too. Is he gonna be acting too? 
Like, what is what, what is his role? Because, like, she's, like, the star of the drama club now. And she can do a lot of personas. But, like, him, is he also going to be acting? <laughs> she probably thinks he's cute. But she doesn't want to tell him. What's he doing? Painting. Okay. He's a hard worker. Okay. Tamago, Sundere. <laughs> Every time she goes Sundere mode, she gets the twin tails up immediately. Yo, VTuber should do this. Oh fuck. This would be a crazy. Uh, maybe it's already been done, but could you imagine VTubers where they have a bunch of different hotkeys to have like, oh, this is Tundere mode, this is Kudere mode, this is Yandere mode, this is you know all, all these different modes, and like they could just like act a specific persona and just like kind of farm chat like that. Like that would be very good, don't you think? Because they can just simply just toggle off and on the different models and have different modes, right? So it's like, oh, boom, Tundere mode. It's like, whoa, next Kudere mode, whoa. <laughs> Oh, the cool girl. Honestly, reminding me of Nano from Hundred Girlfriends. When it's all cool like that, right? It's basically like that. Time to be a furry. Cat girl time. Nya. 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 What do you mean, act like a cat? She just said meow a couple times. Well, come on now. What'd you say? Oh, we're gonna take a picture of the cat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She loves this shit. Number, 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 number. Oh, God damn. Dude, this dude might be the luckiest slice of life. No, that's that. No, I shouldn't say that. There's a lot of bullshit main characters that gets girls for no fucking reason in these shows. There's a lot. He's not the luckiest. But, like, it is quite amazing how, like, he showed up, lied to her immediately, said, I'm the president of this club. <laughs> uh, welcome to the club. And she's like, I love you. Right? That's, that's basically it so far. What are you going to say? What qualities of him does she love before? You know, like, how did he get there? I don't fucking know. Rentaro's luckiest? Nah. Rentaro worked the pity. He got rejected by a hundred girls. Was it a thousand girls? I don't know. He suffered for this shit. This dude just lied to her. And then she just fell. And now instead of having a hundred girlfriends, he has a hundred girlfriends in one, man. I want Sindri to turn out. Come on. This has gotta be thumbnail. Yep, it's got one of these, you know, twin tilt gotta be thumbnail. <laughs> she loves Sindri Chan, bro. She's very cute. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, I got the phone right now. Why not? Take a picture of her, the cat girl, by the way. The cat girl. So he's not going to be acting. He's like background character, just like infrastructure guy. I just realized, is this Snapper's voice actor from Viral Hit? I was like, this dude sounds so familiar recently. Like, this voice is unique. Is this Snapper from Viral Hit? It is, right? Ooh, so cool. What the fuck? Who drew that? You drew this. It's going right to the fridge. Amazing. <laughs> so, you know, she's not good at drawing, but she's good at acting, right? Everyone has their own different roles to play. She's going to be the star actor of the drama club. And he can do the artistic stuff and set up props and, you know, different stuff like that, right? My best work. It's amazing. Oh, oh little, little sister? The Kohai! That was a Kohai act with the little sister act. 
He's gonna end up saying only summer at this rate, bro. He's gonna be like, oh, you, you ever watch the anime Mohoka? Yeah, I, I, I want you to be the little sister that says only summer. <laughs> Scary time. おびただしみ。やっぱつーちゃんも階段怖えな。さすが脚本担当。ひがスケアピカスヒガスケ。でメイクヤーとかスプーカスでライダーパッドライダーがスケアカスケアカスケアカスケアカスケアカスケアカス
could be pretty useful in Classroom of the Elite if she would stop cringing and she could weaponize this entirely and just embrace it. And instead of having one side of Kushida, this could be a girl that just like is beyond Kushida, right? Kushida has one mask, she has like 10 separate masks. Anyways, we're getting off topic. We're getting off topic. Oh, tutor! Yes! You gonna ask an idiot that failed this test to tutor you? Another idiot that failed your test? You got the idiots leading the idiots. This is gonna be a disaster. Okay. Keep failing so I can teach you. And we're back. We're cooking? ちゃんと料理対決をしてるんだ。今のところ部長の一票で通ちゃんがリーダーになったから。<笑> Jesus, I got so serious. Yeah, what were you doing? Jesus! You're supposed to sample it. Bitch, you ate it all. That was an intense ass moment, man. This is, this is actually really fun to watch. B. B is a B for senpai? Oh, nice one! 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 Oh, in front of everyone? Really? They want to definitely see it, right? <laughs> impressed? Would they be impressed or would they be like, this is some degeneracy? Nah, it's a drama club. They would probably like support that shit. That's a little act. Oh, so what is the difference between imp and sundere? Kohaku, he keeps saying kohaku. Kohaku is impish. I think it's supposed to be a little bratty. Sundere is obviously, we know what sundere is, but imp is like, just a little bit bratty on top of that, right? It's just like kind of cheeky. Kohakuma, like what is it? It's kind of teasing. Well, sundere also teases. I feel like, I feel like um, Impish Ko Koaku is like a subsection of a Sundari, where Sundari is a super parent, and you know, not every Sundari is an imp, but every imp is a Sundari. Is that, is that okay to say? I'm not sure, but basically like teasing, right? Kind of teasing, being cheeky like that. Dress for me. Dress. <laughs> Fuck no! Think I'm watching this shit so I can watch the normal you? Ugh! Ugh this is gonna be a problem, actually. This is actually gonna be a problem, because, like, later on, what if he's just so into the different personas that he can't even, like, like her default mode? Like, like, this could be a problem later on. Like, you think this is cute? Like, later on, it's like, You won't look me in the eyes unless I talk like sundere chan And he's like, I'm gonna leave you if you don't act like sundere chan right now, you know? Like, straight up. Right, uh, uh, huh? Hey, chill with the toothbrush. This guy has so many fucking fantasies. Ooh, new hairstyle! I like it! What if he's like, EW! Put that shit down! Oh, that'd be so mean if he did that. Nonokuro? Nonokuro? <laughs> you, got, you got a bedhead. Actually, this is like the main character hair for like Beyblade though. Straight up, like this hairstyle. Like you think it's better. Like this is Jingo Hagane's hairstyle. Like, like this is like children's cartoon like shown in like main character hairstyle, bro. Like Kakashi has a hairstyle too, right? Senpai. What's cool? Yeah. Okay, okay. He didn't have time in the morning. That's an insult! Yes. 
man, I've got no appeal and no smoothness at all. And that's something that I think everyone can agree, right? But it's like, she just feels comfortable around him. Like, he doesn't need to be, like, the biggest wizard of Oz, you know? He's just, he's just a normal dude. He, yeah, he lied to her in the beginning, but... She feels comfortable around him, and he's just having a good time, so you don't have to make it more complicated than that. <laughs> has there any- has, has there been any anime character ever in the history of rom-com or any anime where an Ikemen will show up being like... <laughs> <laughs> have, have they ever won? Every time that's happened, they get shit on immediately. Maybe it's because it's become so meta that they're just kind of like, you know, shitting on that type. And back in the day, it may have worked. I've never seen that shit work a single time of all the animes I've seen, though. <laughs> Kaguya-sama? I don't think he's done that. Well, it's a bit different. They've already established the relationship so much where Shirogane can do something like that and Kaguya can find it funny and cringe but love it. Kasha's hero? Brother! You, do, do you know what the main character of Kasha's hero said? He shit on the goddess and fuck off! He was not trying to be Ikim and he was just looking cool doing push-ups in front of her and he'd go, oh, shiks pack. Oh. Okay. Dude, she got it. It's actually impressive. The commitment to the act. She keeps putting this shit on and immediately as she's done, she puts it off. That's gotta be so annoying. Sometimes she just doesn't even have it and she just does it like this just to fucking, you know, do it impromptu. Ooh, the cool oh, so cool. <laughs> Put the back jacket back on her? Aww. The captain there. Very cute. Very cute. That is today's episode of Giji Harem or Pseudo Harem, which basically means, you know, a harem composed of. Well, it's a harem, but not really a harem because the girl, right? A harem is like a guy surrounded by a bunch of girls. But like. Our main girl here can have the persona of many different archetypes of girls, right? So if a hundred girlfriends, right? Rentaro has a hundred girlfriends. He only has one girlfriend, but there's like a hundred girlfriends within her. You know what I'm saying? So far of the slice of life, this one is the most fun one. Well, the other two were trying to take itself seriously, right? It's like a more of a melodramatic beat, but this one is like a very fun one. More, you know, calm than rom. Well, there's a lot of rom too, but there's a lot of comedy involved. This is the kind of rom com that I enjoy where it's just not like, you know, I don't like sad, depressing stories. I just want just nonstop bullshit fun, and this fits right that. I hope this does well, and that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.